Welcome back New Zealand and Australia, please like and subscribe my channel to get cyclone and weather update for Australia New Zealand Fiji and Mauritius, thanks, convective activity and thunderstorms continue over much of eastern and northern Australia. Storms are also present south of a low pressure system near the SA NSW Victoria border, low level cloud is being pushed onshore along the Nullarbor coast due to a high south of the bight, onshore flow and a trough positioned offshore of eastern New South Wales are generating cloud and showers on the coast and adjoining, a strong upper disturbance centred to the west of Victoria is driving thunderstorm activity in the morning period. With severe thunderstorms possible due to significant moisture and slow storm motion, severe thunderstorms are likely to produce heavy rainfall that may lead to flash flooding in the warning area over the next several hours. Locations which may be affected include Rainbow, Horsham, Warwick Nabeel, Eden Hope, Hamilton and Casterdon. Observations to 11.15am include 65.2mm in 6 hours at Pidgeot Comparison, 59.6mm in 6 hours at McNeil's Bridge, 54.2mm in 6 hours at Canagolk AWS. 50.8 mm in 6 hours at Hillview NYPO in New Zealand, upper temperatures become colder over the North Island today, leading to unstable conditions during this afternoon and evening, there is a broad low risk of thunderstorms for much of the North Island, excluding Northland and Northern Auckland and about the Marlborough Sounds. However, about Manawatu, Wanganui and Taihape this afternoon, and about eastern parts of Tomarunui and Waikato, Taupo, Bay of Plenty, Rotorua, and the Gisborne and Tarawita Ranges during the afternoon and evening, the risk is considered moderate. If these storms occur they will be accompanied by heavy rain 10 to 25 mm per hour and hail 5 to 20 mm in diameter.